Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the pub team. Hope you are well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today is a brand new season. Season 2 and we are in the National League now at the promotion last season. And also we won the FA Trophy so that this season is going to have to be defended against. If you haven't watched that episode, it is the last uh, video, episode 5, where we played uh, Notts County at Wembley. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it but we did win. Spoilers. How does that work? Don't know. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Spence, aka Monkey Socks. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification icon to let you know when a new episode does go live. I also do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But pre season's been busy. We've had a few outs, a couple of wins. We do have the first game of the season today as well, so should we jump into it? Royal intro. <laughs> Season 2 is well and truly now underway. We like to say we've had the preseason, preseason went all right. We'll have a look at the fixtures in a minute. A few players have left, a few players have come in. More importantly, we do have a new board. We were sold, the chairman sold the club. So, the new board, we now have a new owner called John Doherty. He bought the club from the old chairman. Um, he's put a little bit of money into the club, not a lot so far, but we are still in National League, so we've got to be realistic, we have really. Um, he has changed what he expects so our, basically what our new vision is for the season is uh, end of, well, reach the playoffs end of the season reach the third round of the FA Cup and win the FA Trophy also my contract expires at the end of the season so hopefully renew that as well but he also wants to work within the wage budget and build a new stadium which did happen in pre-season I got the plan permission one email saying plan mission we we're going to build a new stadium and a minute later literally in game one minute the plan mission <laughs> plan went out the door because we've all had a new owner so that's what he's doing we've got like 1.5 million in the bank to spend we're not going to spend it not really because the players we got are still good enough i don't think we need to improve just yet but these are what's happened in the pre-season well pre-season training and friendly We've lost a few players, but we've also got a back in on loan. That was the main thing. So we've, we've lost five players, three, five players, but we've bought four of them back on loan, or well, three back on loan, and one new sign in so far. So the players we have lost was Sonny Bradbury. Um... <laughs> right, the reason why I'm laughing is because. You see the face packs as a chilled moose on Twitter. Make sure we cover Patreon of her stuff. This is uh, one of her face packs. And there is a program where you do ran you mix of all the hundreds and thousands of photos that uh, pictures that she has made, you can add it randomly to random regens or new gens. Um so I've done that and this is the first time I've seen this. Sonny Bradbury. He's 17 years old. He's had a hard life for Sonny Bradbury, but he has gone to Fulham. Unfortunately, we couldn't get him back. The board sold him. I couldn't get. I couldn't stop the sale from going through. So he has joined Fulham for twenty thousand pound. It's not a lot, I know. Billy Cross has gone to Stoke, but he has come back on loan for the end of the season. That was part of the transfer deal. Also, head and shoulders himself, Tyler Davison. He has gone to where did he go? Sorry, Tyler went to Barnsley for one hundred fifty thousand, but he's come back on loan. Alan White went to Derby for 30000 but he's come back on loan as well. So the one player we have bought, our first actual signing for 400000 is Bobby Coppin from Peterborough. It says he can play right back, but I'm going to play him uh, centre-back. He's got a lot of potential. Pace is good. He's uh, 18 years old. One for the future, definitely, but it will get game time during the season. Um, 13s and 12s is good. It's very good for the standard. We are currently three star ability, but could be a f four, four and a half, maybe possibility in the future. But that is our only sign in so far. We are looking at a couple more players. Um, but nothing has been confirmed yet. We made bids, but you know, it might happen in this episode today. So we're going through the fixtures quickly of the pre season van least what we did. Uh, we had a one all draw, two one win, sorry, a two one win against Hastings, uh, a one all draw against Derby. Uh, Nunny and Bow was a five one win. Let me beat my hometown of Yate, uh, Yate 5 0. 
a 2 0 win over Dulwich and Hamlet, an 8 1 win over my another local club, uh, Chip and Sobby, 8 1 win there, and a 3 0 win over Harrow to round things up. But as you can see today, we do have Chesterfield in the National League away. Not going to be an easy game, definitely not. But players are looking good. We've got a few players who are uh, wanted or injured or, you know. The players who are wanted are Terran Cook is wanted by Redden. Walsh is wanted by Stoke, Sunderland, Wigan and Minnesota, of all places. Uh, Delano Cook is wanted by Northampton. And no one else. Which is weird because I thought this kitty would be up there. Definitely up there with teams wanting, but no one seems to want him. So I don't know what's going on there. But 17 years old, he's got another three years left on his contract. Oh, Gerard Davis, our 57 goal goals last season. Striker. So at the moment, I'm happy with keeping him. But I'm sure at some point he's going to be nabbed at some point. So, so we jump into today's game against Chesterfield and the tactic and the squad, more, more importantly. Come the end of last season, we started playing two at the back because we were winning the league quite comfortably. I thought I'd change it around, just give it a little bit of a mix, you know. So we've gone for this, the dirty point is called. We've got two centre-backs, we've got a two wing-backs and a flat-back three. Left midfield, right midfield and centre. Two attackers and a single striker. The football playing really nice, but sometimes we do get caught out. But we are getting better. The team are getting better at learning that now. We've definitely improved that centre back as well because we've got Daniels come back in who broke his leg halfway through last season. He broke his leg, he missed the second half of the season, so he'll come back in as well. But this is the formation we're playing. It's a really good formation. I, I do enjoy it. But we'll see how the season goes before we make any other changes. So in goal, we're going to have. Silas Richards was our number one last season. He had a fantastic season, made some good saves. Slowly improving, still in a two style. He's got potential to be a four and a half, five star player. Slowly improving, 25 years old though, so he won't creep up too much. Maybe end of the season he might be replaced. Our two centre backs are going to be Billy Cross, who we know about anyway from last season, and Bobby Coppin making his debut for the Freelance. Right back, we're going to have uh, Tyler Davison, our Mr. Head and Shoulders, who's back on loan for another season. Left back is going to be Gerald Gardner because Hubbard is in out for two weeks with a twisted ankle picked up in one of the friendlies. Uh, right midfield is going to be Terran Cook. We had a good season last year, very good season. Our left midfield is going to be Delano Cook. So Cooks, but two Cooks, both right and left. Uh, deep line playmaker is going to be Royden Bush. He had a fantastic season last year. Hold in that centre midfield. Three goals, uh, seven assists, and two man matches, and 31 appearances. Thought he came on really well. Attributes, he's slowly going up, getting better and better. Currently, three and a half, potential be five star player. So, we're going to give him some more game time this season. Our attacking midfielders are going to be standard Walsh. And Dorian Chambers. Standard Walsh during the preseason was uh, heavily linked with a number of teams. He's unhappy because he apparently was priced out of a move. Now, I haven't overpriced him. It was 1.7 million. A club came in for him for 1.5. Now, I think the club was Middlesbrough. I rejected it because I was like, I want 1.7 plus laying back for the season plus a 40% uh, buy uh, transfer fee if he gets sold on. They rejected it, they didn't want to do that, and he got funny and I said, well, what price would you be happy to take? 1.7. Right, well, they didn't meet that price, so I had to reject it. So he's not Alamo, he's currently unhappy. So he might not be here much longer if other clubs are interested, like Stoke, Sunderland, Wigan and Minnesota. But at the moment he's playing, I got he's one of my better players, I've got to play him really. And up front, of course, is Mr. Jared Davis. Subs, we're going to let assistant pick the subs, as always. Uh, unpick positions. There we go. So we've got White, 
He's back on loan from Derby. Wilmington Daniels has come back from a broken leg last season. He's he's just come back into the fold. He's still got a lot of work to do. Ones across the board, a few places here. But hopefully this season he injury free and he doesn't um well he improves basically he does improve. But a few stuff going down, but that's gonna happen when you put your leg and out for a season. Uh, then we've got Weaver on the right, as always. Mickey Weaver, uh, Terrence, Mickey Weaver. Oh, that's a blast from my past. Terence Weaver. Hutchins uh, as a back backup striker and attacking midfielder. He had a good season last year. He's unavailable for FA Cup, but we've got a long way to go from that. Last season, 11 goals, 8 assists. Did well. And then Bell Pritchard as well. He had a cracking season last year, in all fairness. He was unlu he's unlucky not to start today. But for a centre defender, he got seven goals, three assists, and three man matches as a centre defender. And against teammate, he's against teammate. Happy with manager's treatment. Bring in reinforcement to improve the squad. The first team's got more. We are. We're looking at players. Don't want to overspend because I've got one point five million. I don't really want to spend it. You know, I think these players are good enough to reach playoffs, maybe more. But we'll see. So that's the starting eleven for today's game. But click sub submit team. Two players haven't got a squad number. Of course you haven't. Copin. Oh, what number can we give Copin? A good defender's number. We're giving 32 and white. Uh, the, the, the 30. The Chesterfield are playing a 4 3 3 formation. Um, I don't. Not much to be worried about. Maybe the 3 up front could be cause us a problem with defence, but we drop stuff back if need be. We are at the Proact Stadium. Never heard of it. Might be a new stadium actually. But certainly. Tell the boys you've got faith and go out there and perform. Should all be in 3D. It is in 3D. Teams have lined up. Quick little huddle as you do. What I said in the huddle, I don't know. But kick off and Chesterfield get us underway. Barney. All the way back to the keeper. Cannon. Cook then first tackle of the season, puts it in back post, cross heads it just over. Could have been one nil, it was a good chance. Ten minutes play, Wakeful whips it in. Ryan Longman with the goal on the volley for Chesterfield makes it one nil. Ooh, maybe not going to be an easy season. Twelve minutes played, Cook with the ball, he's done well there, he's turned them, still going, Cook. Oh, he Ball caught under Chambers. Ball got caught under Cook's foot. Down some of the throw. Down my line for Cook. Can he whip it in? Cuts it back to Davison. Whips it in back post. Davis. <sighs> Just over the bar. Garden on my left hand side with a long throw. It's cleared quite easily. Got the Chambers. Gets the cross, but it's blocked. Gardner. Big switch on the Davison. He's come back inside. Bush. Over the top for Cook. Good touch. Davis blocked. Davison. Back post. I wasn't sure if it was a cross or a shot. Still remains 1 0. Davison, long throw, 26 minutes played. Bush can't get there. Walsh, Kirk, left foot. He smashes it against the side netting. Clearly thought I was going in then. Cook then with the ball. Chambers in the middle, turns on it. It's driving forward, got all the spaces. Chambers still, Chambers still. Codwin turned with a fantastic save. They're creating the chances now. Chesterfield haven't had a chance since they scored. Corner whipped in. Covington again tips it over for a corner. Looking dangerous. We're looking dangerous. Cook whips it in. It's also another corner. I was going to say it was clear. It wasn't cleared. We make all this pressure count. Cook again. <sighs> Cop in. Straight at Covington. Another corner. Cook whipped in this time. It's clear as far as Chambers. Cook. Cook. Oh, Covington just manages to tip around. Getting ooh, squeaky bums. Half hour, just over half hour play. Cook. Corner. It's cleared. As far as Bush. Back to Cook. Whips it in. It's cleared. Oh. Free kick in the box. So we're in injury time of the first half. The long throw is cleared. As far as Cook. Davison. Back to Cook. Good football. Cook's got a finish. He's saved. Keeper made another crack and save Covington. But that's half time. 1 0 down after a bombardment of corners. It's still 1 0 Chesterfield. They have one chance in the first half and they've taken it. 
Chesterfield keeper is having a blinder at the moment. I've got to tell the boys it's not good enough because we are losing. Come on, you have the Billy out there to do better. Come on, second half. A only goal could change this game. Davison. Walsh. Looking for Cook. Gets there. Can get the cross and he does his block and it's another corner. Corner central this is today. Right, let's get a goal now. Cook. Left foot whipped in. It's oh, no one in the six yard box. But literally, they ain't get out. Chesterfield cannot get out of that half at the moment. That's a good tackle though. Don't mess around with the cross. All the way back to Richards. Time. Gives out the bush. Good play. The cook with an E on the left. Driving forward. Looking for Cook. He has it. Walsh. Stand this Walsh. He might be a wanted man, but makes it 1-1. One, one. Cook with the header flick on. Cook with the drive. Cook with the flick on. It's all Cooks. Too many Cooks. I think I've sell one of his Cooks. Cook driving forward. Infield. Cook with a head on to the, into the six yard box. And Walsh is there before the keeper. 1-1. One, one. 57 minutes played. Goal kick's been cleared. As far as Gardner. Coping's gone long. Davis, he's in. First chance. Davis, what a save by the keeper. How is this still 1-1? One, one? Cook then. Corner. Whipped in. Long, Longman clears. And here come Chesterfield on the counter. And Duke, oh, good tackle by Davison. It's not a good tackle. Referee's giving him a yellow card for that. But we're in the 70th minute. I'm going to make some changes. Nothing's happened since that booking for Davison. So we're going to make some changes. See if I can force a result. Um, but who? Delano Cook's on a 6.5. I'm going to take him. He's not been booked, but I'm going to take him up and bring on Weaver. So see if Weaver can probably come in on his right foot. I don't know. We're going to, we'll give it a go. Um, also, we've got four bookings. Chambers ain't having a great game. So take James Chambers off and bring on Hutchins. And that's going to be it for now, I think. 20 minutes to go. Still 1-1. One, one. A point at the start of the season is a great result. Don't get me wrong. But I think we've got enough here to beat, beat Chesterfield easily. But. Here comes Chesterfield with a free kick. Varney. Bush clears. Cross. Bush slightly clears. Varney. Bit of head tennis there, wasn't it? Go on. Covington with a goal kick. is straight to Davison. who drives forward down that right wing. Gives it to Walsh. He's got one. He's got one. <sighs> Fingertip saved by Codmington. Chesterfield keeper is absolutely having a blinder. Cook then with another corner. We must have like 15 corners easily. Cook's whipped in. Davis can't get it there. Pulls the bush. Still bush. Cross gets there now. Davison, don't lose it. Right, throw in then. Literally just about to click, click over to 90 minutes. Bush, he loses up to Longman. Coping. The other good first, first uh, debut for us. Richards to cross. Chesterfield had that one chance early on in the game. They score from it. Cook. Driving forward. Cook. <sighs> Codvington again. He somehow just squeezes it while he's past the post. Another corner. Bip 10. Can we get one that's going to work? No. Don't you dare. Rowley. Oh, ho, ho. Side netting. I thought that was in. But Richards with a goal kick then. Are we going long or are we going short? What are we doing? The man, the man marking. Bush, and there you go, 1-1, one, one. can't complain, really, um, I think their keeper, he's only had a 6.1 rating, I don't think that's fair, oh, I keep, I'm a keeper, no fair. I think he had an absolute blinder, Terran Cook got man of the match apparently, but a 1-1 one, one draw, how many corners did we have in the end, corners, we had 14 corners to their 3, you know, it was a, not a bad result, 61% possession, but the possession doesn't win new games, but we'll take it, start of the season, we'll take it. Uh, unlucky boys, you're unlucky. I think they keep had a good game, but that's football, isn't it? It's one of those things. Don't take your chances, you can't win. Yeah, could make his debut. He had, a, he had a pretty good debut, not gonna lie. Cook was alright. I think final pass need a bit more, but yeah, there we go. So after one game in the second season, we are. Oh, excuse me. We are sitting ninth, just outside the playoffs. There's a long way to go, isn't there? So, I'm not too worried. Uh, what fixtures we got coming up? Fly, Dover, Wrexham, Sutton, Aldershot, and Eastleigh all in August. So, hopefully, uh, come the end of August, we'll be fine. We should be walking it.
This is the conclusion of episode 6. We well, couldn't get the three points against Chesterfield. They're going to be a very strong team throughout the season. I think they'll be in the playoffs or promotion chase with us all season. So a one-all draw away from home. Keep it on a blinder. Getting a 6.1 rating is a bit harsh on them in all fairness. But a point is better than no points at all. If you have enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And hit the little notification bell to let you know when a new video does go live. I also stream on Twitch uh, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Twitch.tv slash MonkeySocksGaming. I'm also on Twitter as well, at MSocksGaming. If you want to follow me on Twitter as well, you, you might have seen that pop up a few times through the video. <laughs> Try to get some new followers. That's what happens, you know what I mean? But like I said, if you have enjoyed the video, thank you very much for staying this long and watching. And until next time, I'll see you very soon. Look after yourself, stay safe and as always... I don't know, just as always. Until next time, guys. Ta-da. Bye.